So the thing with the partnership with Kotebe University of Education is that they they want to have like a full fully fledged plan as in not just like a memorandum of understanding, they asked for a project proposal and exactly all the costs outlined, and in particular, because this is what they care about, they want to know how much they're going to get, like their cut. Um, and this is not really how you do like partnerships. You first do a memorandum of understanding, and then once you have that in place, you can start negotiating and discuss the budgetary time. And this is what I told them, I sent that email to them in Tuesday, and uh, I haven't gotten back to the they haven't gotten back to me yet, but the uh, partnership representative is going to speak to the president of the university. I did a follow-up email saying that I am here until the, uh, I believe, 20, so, you know, up to them. But in the meantime, I will be looking for alternatives, because that's what you have to do. You want to have some leverage. So I'm going out to Ice Addis to check that out. I'm also going to visit Addis Ababa University on tomorrow. Oh. Lots of goats here. As you can see, there's a mix of construction construction going on everywhere, and huge stadium, and uh, yeah, just goats. Uh, apparently. A lot of donors care about tax receipts, which and I understand, of course. And given that most of the Cardano holders, or at least a huge majority of them, are actually based in the US, I think this is something we'll just need to do. So, so far, we haven't looked into incorporating as a charitable organization in the US. But going forward, I think that that will have to be the main plan. So in the next week or so, uh, I'm going to investigating that to hopefully get an application in before Christmas. And then once we do launch our fundraising campaign, you'll be able to donate on chain using your ADA, but get a tax receipt for that. And what that means, which is actually kind of cool, is that you can donate and then you get like stuff in return, which is like the NFT and the various utilities. And this is tax deductible because, I mean, we're really not, we're not like selling an item. We're giving you guys a small token of appreciation in return. And you can do whatever you want with that, like resell it, gift it to someone. That's none of our concern. Um, but that's actually, yeah, that's quite unique. Uh, now that I think about it, at least if you think of our NFTs as you know any other NFT collection, where you can't really buy it and then get tax deductibles. Hmm, interesting. I wonder what this means. Anyways.